Hello everyone, Sean Geringer, KC08KY here. wanted to share with you a product that I'm testing from AliExpress. It's sold as a fiber to the home cable TV transmitter and receiver. What it's designed to do is take RF in, and usually in the specs, this one doesn't really have anything to speak of. It's about 52 megahertz to a gigahertz. You can see 75 to 85 dBV, and what it does is it converts that RF into optical fiber optic out. Then we'll designed to send that through this APC cable to this, which is the down converter or receiver, which again takes the fiber in and gives you RF out. This is supposed to be powered completely by just the fiber. To test this, I'm going to be sending in RF from my scanner antenna and I'll be receiving it in this RTL SDR so we can actually get a waterfall view of what's going through this. Now because I live nearby a relatively high power FM station. We're going to add a distill FM trap to help lower the strength of that. I tend to do that whenever I'm using the RTL SDR. Bring that in the input. I get a chance to show off some of my adapters, but this is an SMA to F adapter which comes in perfectly handy for things like this. Set that up out of the way. There we go. And for the output of this, I have a cable adapter for that. Here we go. Kind of the inverted version of what I had before, but F female, SMA male. Okay, I'm going to reorient this so it's close to my computer. And then finally I'll remove the dust covers. Make sure I open up the fiber in. Okay, and last of all, let me plug this into my computer. Alright, let's pause and we'll switch over to the computer now. Okay everyone, now that we've plugged the modulator into AC power and gone over to the computer, let's go ahead and turn on the SDR and see what we have. I usually like to start by tuning into the control channel for my local public safety system A51825. Let's see if we need to adjust the PPM of this tuner at all. Looks like we might be off just a little bit. Okay. 
So we can see that it is bringing through the signal for the two-way system. We can probably turn the gain up a little bit. We're clearly seeing multiple two-way radio systems coming through. Let's try tuning to... Oh, here we can see a 4G signal in 750 megahertz. Let's see if we can receive the uh, weather radio. That could be useful in a situation where you wanted a radio isolated. And yes, we have Looks like we might want to turn the game down a little bit here. Once again at 7 p.m. it's either rapids with light snow and fog. The temperature was 32. In Iowa City with light snow, the temperature was 33. Let's take a look and just see if there's anything in the... Oh, we still have some FM broadcast band it looks like as well, even despite having put that filter in. Obviously, we may want to filter this down more because of the uh, overloading the infrared, but it doesn't seem like that's the case. Because we still have some pretty clear indications that we're getting frequencies through, such as the weather radio, and then the cellular signals, and as well the uh, public safety signals. So I'd say this would be quite useful if you wanted to isolate a radio from the antenna itself. Obviously in an EMP situation the, the, the modulator, the sender, would be likely damaged. Uh, you could store a, a secondary one and deploy it in that situation, but the radio, if it was within a Faraday cage, would be spared because the fiber optic cable would, would not transfer any signal. I'm curious if this can uh, send HF. I'm going to stop for a second and connect to a different SDR that's uh, capable of doing HF and connect to my HF antenna. And let's see if, if any HF is sent through. I'll be right back. Okay, for HF, I need to use a different machine connected to my HackRF. I'm going to go ahead and connect. Let's take a look. Looks like we don't have too many artifacts, so we might be able to turn the gain up a little bit. Let's zoom in. Let's look at the 20 meter band. Well, we can definitely see that it is bringing through a considerable amount of RF in the HF spectrum. It's probably also tunable. Whoops. Well, I didn't like that. Let's try it again. That was weird. Let's zoom in some, so maybe we can just click. Okay, well there's uh, JT8. Let's see, is this voice down here? So we definitely are bringing through RF that is below what it's advertised to transmit. Um, just for comparison, let me connect the 
my HF antenna directly to this SDR so we can see what the signal strength is and what we might be losing out on. Let me disconnect that. Reconnect that. So definitely the noise floor was considerably higher. Looks like we'd be able to turn gain up a little bit more without that. I'm honestly not seeing any specific differences in signals, but there may be some there. Well, this has just been a brief introduction to the field of converting RF into fiber optics. If this has interested you, please let me know in the comments and enjoy experimenting.